Okay? So, what percent of 72 is 8? Again, what percent of 72 is 8? Comment down your answers on our Facebook live. I'll be reading your answers. Okay. Sir, Sir, Sir Rodante answered B. While Debbie answered also D. I'll answer D. That's Delta. Okay, that's 11.11. .11. Sir Charles answered D. Okay, that's 11.11. .11. Sir Merwin. Sir Nico. B. Sir Nico answered B. Ma'am Lani D. Asmina answered B. Amski B. Okay. Ma'am Jen answered C. Francis answered 11.11. .11. Okay. Philip, Sir Marjun, Aphrodite also answered letter D. Okay. So, your answers are between B and D. Okay, so we're going to discuss the correct answer. Ma'am Jessa, Kisai, Sir Ayan, Ma Sir Emilio, Sir Mike, oh, Sir Mike and Sir Emilio answered B. Nico, D. Okay, sure na. Yeah. <laughs> Rob. Okay, so Sir Alvich also answered B. Okay, Sir Charles already explained the correct answer. So, based on our problem, what presents, so it is asked of our rate R is a known. We're given 72, this is the whole, so this is our percentage, uh, this is our base, rather, rather. This is our base, and 8 is the part of 72, so this is our percentage. So, the correct answer for problem number 1 is letter D. That is 11.11, .11. so congratulations for those who answered letter D. And this is how you're going to do it. Okay, based on our discussion earlier, P, R, D. Just remember this pyramid that we have. So we're asked to solve for the rate. So therefore, rate is equal to percentage divided by base. So R is equal to P over B. So R is equal to 8 divided 72. R is equal to 0 0.11111. And now, what are you going to do? Multiply this by 100 to turn this into percentage or simply move two decimal places to your right. So 0 0.1111 moves so that becomes 1, 2, that becomes 11.11% and that is letter D. Congratulations for those who got the correct answer. So you, you need to move two decimal places to your right. Not only one. Uh, that, that's why you answered D. You only move once. You should move twice. Or dalawang beses kung mag-move towards your right. Okay? Let's have problem number two. Still, I'll be waiting for your answers sa ating Facebook Live. A number is increased from 120 to 150. By what percent of its original value did the number increase? Again, a number is increased from 120 to 150. By what percent of its original value did the number increase? So again, comment down your answers on our Facebook Live. For Sir Mel, or Sir or Ma'am. Okay, yes po, Sir, no worries po. Just uh, watch. I know you're already working professionals. Most of you are working professionals and trying to balance your time. So it's okay. It's okay po.
Okay, let's have your answers. Okay. Twenty-five percent. Okay, your answers are letter C, letter D, thirty percent. Okay, sige. We're going to discuss your answers. D, thirty percent. D, C, C. Okay, so most of your answers fall on letter C and letter D. Okay, so Pearl answered letter C. Sir Eric C. Sure na. Okay. Ma'am Maria Lourdes answered D. Tonton answered D. Some I can I cannot read some of your names. Okay, Ka Sir Paul D. Okay, see. Let's reveal the answer for this. Based on the problem. We're not asked of what is the percentage of 120 to 150, but the amount of increase. So from 120, it turns to be it increased to 150 by, that is by 30. Okay. So the correct answer for this is letter C. That is 25% only. It's not 30. 30 po yung tinaas, but that is not the percentage. Okay. This is the this is how to do it. Okay, still P R B parentayo. So we're asked of the rate is equal to P divided by B or the percentage divided by the base. So the percentage is not 120 and the base is not 150 because it is asked of what percent of its original value. So our original value is 120. So this is our base. And the amount of increase is from 120 to 150, that is only 30. So our percentage is 30, divide it by 120. So R is equal to 0 0.25 or R is equal to, in percentage, that is 25%. So that is letter C. So I hope you have understood the discussion for this. And for percentage, let us remember when we talk of 100%, that is the whole. 50%, when we say 50%, that is half. When we say 25%, meaning that is one-fourth of the whole. Divide natin sa apat pag sinabing 25%, para hindi na tayo mag-divide or hindi na tayo mag-solve. And when we say 20%, you're going to divide the whole by 5. So dito, 30 so if we try to, res to recite the multiples of 30, that is 30, 60, 90, and 120. So when you divide it by 4, 120 divided by 4, that is 30. So dividing it by 4 or 1 fourth, that is 25%. Okay, so the correct answer po is letter C. Okay, let's have problem number three. Okay, school calendar requires 220 days of class interaction. Dindo was absent for 22 days. What percent represent his number of absences? Again, school calendar requires 220 days of class interaction. So Dindo was absent for 22 days. What percent represent his number of absences? That's number of absences. So comment on your answers. I'll be waiting again sa Facebook Live. Okay. Wow, ang bilis ni Sir Ney. He answered 10%. Sir Ney Torrejano. Okay. Ma'am Jenny answered A. Debbie also answered 10%. Sir Nelson answered A, 10%. Philip, 10%. A. Sir Irvin, Sir Junjun, Ma'am Asmina also answered A. Ronilyn, A. Okay. Rona, Ma'am Des. Okay, so most of your answers or all of your answers is letter A, which is 10%. So reveal na natin yung sagot. Okay, so the correct answer is, that's letter A, that is 10%. 
10%. So very good yung aking ano, viewers ngayon. 200 viewers. And all, uh, those who commented their answers, bilis mag-solve. Okay, ang bilis, ang bilis silang mag-solve and they got the correct answer, which is letter A. Congratulations for those who answered letter A. At least for this number, number 3, wala pong umiba ng sagot. Wala pong nalihis na sagot or na-confuse sa tanong. So the correct answer is letter A, 10%. Or, we simply divide 220 by 10, the answer is 22. That is how 22 days yung kanyang absences. So, P, using PRB still, 22 divide 220, our rate is 0 0.1 times 100%. So, this is equal to 10%. Okay, 22 divide 220. That is correct. Okay, let's have another problem on percentage. Okay, a swimming pool had 2.5 million liters of water in it. Some water evaporated and the pool only had 2 million liters of water in it. What percent of the water evaporated? Sir Jason answered B. Okay. Is it mom or sir? Oh, it's mom Aphrodite. Answer B. Sir Jason, 20%. Comes Debbie nor shift also answered 20 20 percent. Sir Nelson answered 20. Okay, B. Okay, very good. Mom Asmina also answered letter B. Mom Ruby Lani also answered B. Mom Ronnie Lynn. If if you have mastered percentage. Without PRB, this uh, problem is applicable on yung common natin na percentage, which is the correct answer is letter letter B, that is 20%. So um, the amount of water evaporated is 0.5 million liters. So we're going to compare it to the original amount, the whole amount which is 2.5 million. So as so what I have told you earlier, if you're going to divide the whole number by 5, that is your, that is the 20% of the whole amount. So 0.5 million, 1 million, 1.5, 2 million, and 2.5. So that is 20%. So using PRB, our, our it is asked to solve for the rate. So rate is equal to, to the percentage divided by the base. So our percentage is not, the 2 million and the base is not the 2 uh, and the uh, sorry and our base is 2.5 million so our percentage here is not the 2 million it's the 0.5 million of the water which evaporated so 0 0.5 divided by 2.5 that is equal to 0 0.20 so r is equal to 20 percent okay you got the correct answer you got it as letter b equal to 20 percent so ang gagaling ng aking ano ngayon audience ng aking participants not only as audience but participants on our lecture so we're going to proceed with number five so number five is still on percentage. This is our last um, example on percentage. Okay, 63% of the students in a school are age 18 and above. If there are 2,368 students, how many are below 18 years old? Again, 
63% of the students in a school are age 18 and above. If there are 2,368 students, how many are below 18 years old? So comment down your answers on our live. Okay. Sir Clint answered B. Sir John Mark also answered B. Sir Jerry Mill answered letter D. Okay, so the answer is an approxi uh, approximate answer, approximation. Because the answer will not give you a whole number. It is in decimal. So it is approximately. Okay, your answer, you answer, your answers are B, D, C. Okay, B, D, C. Okay, okay, someone answered letter A. Okay. Okay, let us review the answer. The correct answer for this number, uh, I'm going to tell you, Muna, that you might be tricked with or by the question. It is given that uh, the percentage is number of students who are age 18 and above. But the problem asks of the number of students who are 18 years old below or below 18 years old okay so we're not going to use the 63 percent in there as our rate so the correct answer for this is letter d approximately 876 students are eight below 18 years old so how let's have this so prb so as what I have told you earlier, we're not going to use R or rate as 63% because 63% are age 18 and above. So we're going to subtract the 63% from 100%. So meaning 37% are the students who are 18, uh, who are below 18 years old. So we're going to use rate, which is 37%. So 37% times 2,368. So our P is approximately 876. So the correct answer is letter D. Okay, so let's proceed to the next problem. Okay, so we are on fraction. So solve 7 over 8 minus 1 fourth.
Okay, so your answers. Okay, so we have Okay, Ma'am Angelica answered B, that is 3 over 8. Sir Charles answered 3 fourth. John Marie answered letter A. Sir Philip also answered A. Clint C, Ma'am Ruby A. So dito nagkakaiba-iba na yung sagot natin. So Charles, 3 fourth. Sir Eric A, Sir Nico A, CJ A, Sir Sonny A, Debbie A. Regina or Regina answered E. Jonaline A. Ma'am Divina A. Nico, 5 over 8. That's letter A. Sir Eric, ganun din. Then NJ also answered letter A. Ma'am Marikyat answered D. Sir Rodante answered letter E. Ma'am Aphrodite answered letter A. Sophia answered letter, letter E. So we're going to subtract. In, subtract, in subtracting fraction, our, in subtracting and adding fraction, our prime consideration is our denominator. Or we, should, or we should think whether it is similar or dissimilar fractions. When we say similar fractions, parehas po yung kanilang denominator. And when we say dissimilar, so ibig sabihin po magkaiba naman po yung kanilang denominator. Okay, but uh, considering the denominator, so yung commonly yung ginagawa talaga natin agad is uh, solve for or look for the LCD or the least common denominator of on the given of 8 and 4. But we could have it as another answer, another uh, solution. Okay, let's say, so the correct answer is letter A, that is 5 over 8. Okay, 5 over 8. Okay, Para hindi na po tayo mag-reduce or have our answer in answers in lowest term, we could perform this. Okay, let's have the solution. Let's have this. So, 7 over 8 minus 1 fourth. Yung una talaga natin ginagawa is so, you look for the LCD of 8 and 4, which is, yung LCD po nila is 8. Hindi po, thir hindi po 32 yung gagamitin natin. Masyado na po ang malaki si... 32. Yung gagamitin po natin is 8. Multiples din po ni 4 si 8. So 8, 16, then you have 4, 8. So multiple niya po si 8. So our LCD list, pinakamababa po is 8. But we have the other solution for that. Without using the LCD, we could turn this dissimilar fraction, fractions into similar fractions. Gawin natin parehas yung kanilang denominator. Yes, that's the answer of mom, Novicate. Okay, so we, we have 7 over 8 minus yung 1 fourth. Gawin natin parehas yung denominator sa kay 7 over 8. So that is by multiplying 2 over 2. Wala pong problema if we multiply this by 2 over 2 since 2 over 2 is 1. Okay, so 2 times 1, that's 2. 4 times 2, that is 8. Ngayon po, parehas na yung denominator nila. So wala na po tayong problema. Ano na lang pong gagawin natin? Copy the common denominator and then subtract our numerator. So 7 minus 2, that is equal to 5 over, copy the common denominator, which is 8. So the correct answer is letter A. Okay, so letter A, that is 5 over 8. Okay, so thank you, Ma'am Novigate. Oh, but mo rin po multiply si Ah, no. Ang multiply ka ng 2 over 2, pero sinama mo rin si 7 over 8. Hindi po 3 fourth yung sagot. Okay? So, hindi po letter C yung sagot. We only multiplied 2 over 2 sa kay 1 fourth. Hindi po kasali si 7 over 8. Kasi pag multiply natin si 7 over 8 ng 2 over 2, so mag, uh, magiging iba din naman yung kanilang denominator. So that is only multiply 2 over 2 sa 1 fourth. So the correct answer po is 5 over 8. Okay, sige. Let's have the next problem. 
Okay, si Sergio Marina Katsamba. Okay, so very good yung ano natin, yung yung math skills natin dyan, sir. Okay, let's have number, number seven, still on fraction. Okay. So what is the sum of three over eight plus two fifth plus one fourth? Okay, Ma'am Susan, Ma'am Susan, okay, use butterfly method. Pwede din po, we could use butterfly method, but after the butterfly method, when we use it, we should always see to it that our answer is in lowest term because the choices are always in lowest term. So butterfly method kasi we multiply the uh, denominator and we consider that as already as our denominator for the answer. So sometimes that is not the least or hindi yun yung pinakamababang uh, common denominator for the given. Basta walang sagot matik C. <laughs> okay, so let's have this. So 3 over 8. Okay, so number 7. Okay. Is it Martin? M-R-T-N? <laughs> what man said? Mansad utok na to ani. Ma'am Pearl answered B, Sir Albert E. Okay, Sir Jo Marie. Ah, oh, Sir Jo Marie, magaling kasi Sir Jo Marie ah. Letter B, 1, mabilis. Mabilis sumagot. 1 over, 1 and 1 over 40. B, B. Sophia also answered B. Power of B, okay? So, so yung iba't C yung pinipili. Si Ma'am, power of B. Sige. Sir Philip B. Ma'am Jonalyn also answered B. Angelica D. Ah, okay. I know why you answered D. Okay. Sir Eric. D. Sir Emilio E. E. Let me see. Okay. B. Okay. D. Okay. Sir Eric, the answer for D in the choices is 1 and 41 over 40. 1 and 41 over 40. Ma'am CJ, your answer is letter B. Okay, letter B. Okay? So the correct answer for this po is letter B. So you, you're confused with B and D. B and D. Yung answer po sa D is meron pong 1, 1 and 41 over 40. Okay? So the correct answer for this is letter B. 1 and, 40, uh, 1, and 1 over 40. The answer... The, the answer is an improper fraction that it was written in mixed numbers. Okay, so if we're going to add for this, so tatlo na yung ating addends dito. 3 over 8, 2 fifth, at saka 1 fourth. So dito na tayo ngayon gagamit ng LCD ng tatlo. So how do we solve for the LCD or how do we look for the LCD? We recite the multiples of all the denominators. 8, 5, and 4, and then the least na magkapareho sila, then that would be our LCD. So 8, multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Then for 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So still 40, so 4. 4 times 10, so that is 40, or you will say 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. So our LCD, the least common multiple for these three uh, denominators that we have is 40. So write 40 below or write it in the denominator, then we perform the operation. So 40 divide 8, or denominator here, that's 5 times our numerator, which is 3. So 40 divide 8 is 5 times 3. So the same, 40 divide 5, that is 8 times the, the uh, numerator 2. Next, we have 40 divide 4, that's 10, times 1. And then, find the product. 5 times 3, 15. 8 times 2, 16. 10 times 1, 10. Then, add it up. 15 plus 16 plus 10, that is 41. Over, our denominator 40, this is an improper fraction. This could be written into a mixed number. So, that, that is... 40, uh, 41 divided 40, merong isa. So that's 1. Yung sobra natin is yung 1. 
So we write it as 1 and 1 over 40. Okay, so ba basic concept pa lang po ito. So, so kung medyo nahihirapan tayo, ano? So, medyo i-master natin yung table of multiplications natin. Para, ano, para ma... Pag pang familiar kasi tayo mas ma... Sa table of multiplications, we are, we are, you, you will be familiar also with multiples. Kung alam mo yung table of multiplications, so alam mo din yung multiples, then you could easily detect or determine the LCD for the given fractions. Okay, so let's have number eight. Which of the following has the smallest value? Is it one half, three fourths, three eight, five over six, or seven over eight? Kaya po, kakayanin po. Opo. I, I agree with your comments, Sir Martin. May pa ni Naminaw po tarong sa una. Yes, sir. Because this math is your secondary math, your algebra. This algebra is during your high school days. During our high school days. Yung math pong ito is pang high school. Kaya po sinasabi ko talaga pag nag-review po tayo na kung inaral po natin ng maayos yung, yung math natin ng high school, makakasagot po tayo sa NAPORCOM exam at saka sa civil service exam. Kahit sa civil service exam, ganito rin po yung mga lumalabas. So sabi ko, pag yung mag-exam ngayon is yung grade 8, grade 9, or grade 10, masasagot po nila ito. Kaso tayo po, Pinaglipasan na po tayo ng panahon. Nakalimutan na po natin yung discussion ni teacher natin ng high school. Okay, so your answers are C, E, 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 C. Okay. So, your answers are between E and C. Okay? Lagi kasi nagdodota, ma'am. E, okay, someone answered A. C, ma'am Aphrodite. Wala man ni kaagi grade 8 o grade 9, ma'am. Yung ano po, yung second year high school or third year high school po tayo. That's uh, algebra po natin is nung second year high school tayo. Okay, so the correct answer for this problem po. When we say uh, for fraction, yung smallest value po, we compare yung most, uh, yung very basic na binibigay. We compare po the numerator and the denominator. Pag mas malaki po yung agwat ni denominator kay numerator, mas maliit po yung kanyang value. So, one half, let's say one half, yung agwat lang po nila is one. Three-fourth, ganun din. Five over six, ganun din. Seven over eight, ganun din. Sino po yung mas malayo yung agwat? That is letter C. That is three over eight. Pag mas malayo po yung agwat nila, na mas mataas po yung denominator natin kumpara sa numerator, mas maliit po yung kanyang value. Okay, so the correct answer po is letter C. Okay. Let's proceed to number nine. Sabi ko na C. Okay, trust your instinct, sir. Okay, let's have number nine. So solve 
one third that is times yung x po dyan is times three over eight plus one half so dalawang operations na po yung involved multiplication at saka addition Ang galing talaga ni sir. Lakas makatsamba. Ma'am Jenny, mabilis tayo mag-solve ngayon ah, baka sa exam nga nga. Hindi po. The more you practice, the more you're going to do better in the exam. That's what I'm telling you. So pag palagi pong nagpa-practice, mas madali, magiging madali po yung exam para sa iyo. Kasi it is, it is a matter of practice and recalling yung mga topic natin nung high school. Na mayabas mang good me sa elementary ma. <laughs> okay. Sige. So advise your ano, the younger generations na aralin nila nang maayos yung yung math nila sa high school. Ang liit ng question pero sobrang haba ng solution. Yes sir. Medyo. So you answered 5 over 8. Okay. In multiplying, uh, in uh, performing operations on fraction, we still also, we also apply MDAS or the PEMDAS or the GEMDAS na ginagamit natin. Okay, you answered E, that's 5 over 8. D, that's 1 fourth. Sir Jomari, 1 fourth. Okay, sige. D, 1 fourth. Mm, 1 fourth. D. Okay, most of you answered letter E, 5 over 8. So, mag-MDAS pa rin po. Unahin po muna natin si multiplication bago mag-addition. So, you answered letter E. So, reveal na natin yung sagot. So, the correct answer po is letter E. You got it, correct. D or E. So, medyo may confusion pa si Ma'am Angelica. Either D or E. Okay. So, the correct answer po is letter E. That's 5 over 8. Okay, now how are we going to do it? So multiply muna tayo. Actually, yung binigay po is medyo, medyo madali. If you know, if we know there are rules on multiplying fractions, so magiging madali po. Ito po, solutions natin. Okay, so 1 third times 3 over 8 plus 1 half. So ano pong mangyayari dito? Okay, so multiplication po, we could already cancel out pag yung isa nasa numerator at yung isa nasa denominator. So yung 3 here na numerator, pwede na, 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 na natin i-cancel out with the 3 na andito sa denominator. Yung numerator na 3 at denominator na 3 dito, we could already cancel that out. Okay, it seems that ni-reduce na natin. So ano na lang yung naiwan? That is 1 8 plus 1 half. Okay? So, how? How po? Kasi, it, it is, this bo, both trees po nandyan, are fact, magiging, pag in-multiply natin, magiging factors lang yan. So, mama, mamaya, ere-reduce din naman natin. So, why not cancel out po? Basta multiplication. Multiplication po, ha? Yung isa nasa taas, isa nasa ba, isa nasa numerator, isa nasa denominator, same numbers, just simply cancel it out. Okay, so 1 8 plus 1 half, LCD natin dito is 8. Or we simply turn this into parehas yung denominator. So multiply this by 4. So 1 8 plus 4 times 1 is 4 and 2 times 4 is 8. So that's 1 4, 1 8 now plus 1 4 equal to 1 plus 4, parehas na yung denominator natin. So, pwede na po natin i-add. Similar fractions na po. So, just simply add the numerator, 1 plus 4, and then copy the common denominator, 8. So, 1 plus 4 is 5 over 8. So, the correct answer is letter E. That's 5 over 8. Okay. Next number. Number 10. Okay, multiplication.
In multiplying um, fractions, we multiply numerator to numerator, multiply lang po natin, and then denominator to denominator. But it is best when, okay, sorry. It is best when you're going to reduce muna kung may pwedeng i-reduce bago mag-multiply para mas mababa na yung sagot or nasa least, ang tawag nito, nasa lowest term na po yung ating sagot. Okay, so answered C. C, sure na. I really, I really like the attitude yung sure na. Yung mga firm sa kanilang mga sagot. C, okay. So very good kung ganun. C, sure na. Okay, so we have A. Pass muna. Okay, it's okay. So C, Okay, sige. Sir Justin also answered C. C. So let's reveal the answer. Most of you got the correct answer. And if you have solved it manually, as of this time, you are solving it manually, tap yourself and congratulate yourself for answering, uh, for getting the correct answer. For answering, for, the, for item number 10, for answering letter C. For the correct answer is letter C. So top yourself if you have answered C and congratulate yourself. You got the correct answer. So yung gagawin natin, anong rule natin sa multiplication? So solution natin, we multiply numerator to numerator, then denominator to denominator. So 1 times 2, that's 2. Then 3 times 8, that is 24. Ganun lang po sana, ganun lang po yun. Um, kaso, 2 over 24 na sagot, meron pang lowest term. Pwede pa natin ma-reduce, that is 1 over 12. O yung pwede po natin gawin is, yung 2 over 8 na meron tayo dito, pwede pa pong ma-reduce. Pwede pa po natin pababaan na hindi po magbabago yung kanyang value. So, 2 and 8 may common factor which is 2. So, pwede mong gawin 1 third times. Okay, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then 8 divided by 2 is 4. So ito nasa, nasa lowest term na yung 2 over 8 naging 1 fourth. So we multiply 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So the correct answer is 1 over 12. If your answer is 2 over 24, that is also correct. But that is not yet in the lowest term. So baka magtaka kayo sa sunod, bakit yung sagot ninyo wala sa choices? So your answer should be in lowest term. That is 1 over 12. Okay, Sir Nelson showed the solution yung, yung 20, 2 over 24. <laughs> Abi na, kung magpusil-pusil ra ang crime na aman di ay mag-solve-solve sa math. Okay. Because Napol kami is testing our mental capabilities. Let's have number 11. We're going to proceed with patterns. Okay, ito na tayo sa pattern. So for patterns, it's not necessarily as the first um, term in connection with second term or next by the third term, by the fourth term or fifth. Sometimes one and, third, and the, well, the first term and the third term are related and then the fifth term. And the second term to the fourth term and then the sixth term. Okay? So sa pattern tayo. Okay, tingnan natin. Kung hindi makaya dun sa solving, bawi sa ibang area which you feel comfortable or which you feel easier compared to solving yung math. Okay, so you answered B. Matic B, Sir Elvin. Okay. Sige. So most of you answered letter B, that is. Yes. I, I, I love the attitude. Kasi yun, yeah. Napakadali. Opo. So the correct answer po is letter B. What's the pattern for this? So 7, 8, 9, 10. Because you have 10, 11, 12. The pattern is first term to the third term to the to the fifth term. So the seventh term ang pattern. So 10 should na, Sir Eric. 
So the correct answer po is The correct answer po is letter B which is N. Or you could also have the pattern plus 3 minus 2. Then plus 3 minus 2 plus 3 minus 2. So the correct answer po is yes, skipping skipping term pala. Opo, pwede po. Okay, next let's have, you got it all correct, letter B. Let's have number 12. So 53, 53, 40, 40, 27, 27, and the next would be, <laughs> sure na ko sa iya ha, Shara ang dili na. <laughs> okay, sige. For number 12. Oh, no, 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 no. And then yung sagot. <laughs> okay, sige. I'll be asking na lang kasi and then yung sagot. Ano natin? Ano po yung pattern natin? <laughs> okay, very well, no, hindi na. Hindi na animate yung, uh, yung sagot. Okay, so ang tanong na lang po is math letter C. Okay, so ang tanong na lang natin is, bakit letter C? So sure na talaga C. Okay, okay sir. Who's the Sir Dex C. Okay. Then A, A. Okay, the pattern po is minus 30. That's correct. Okay, so the pattern is minus 13. Congratulations. Let's have number 13. Okay, 3, 5, 6, 10, 9, 15, 12, and then 20. Okay, so what's the correct answer for number 13? Okay, sir, mix answered letter E. Sir Nico. Sir Chris answered letter E. Mervin also answered letter E. Now, sir Nelson. Desktop. Okay. CJ. Okay, letter E po, sure answer. Very good, ma'am. Very good, ma'am, CJ. Okay, Sir Nelson, explain his answer. Okay, CJ. Okay, let's reveal the answer. So the correct answer for number 13 is letter E. So our pattern po for this is... Alternate po yung pattern dito. So you have for five, five, five. 10, 15, 20. So let's try to see the pattern for 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12. So the correct answer po is plus 3. That is 15. So the correct answer is letter E, 15. How about this? Number 14. 8, 24, 12, 36, 18, 54. And the answer would be... Okay, so Sir Justin answered, and Sir Martin also answered letter A, Isai A, Sir Luca answered letter E, okay, Sir Mike answered C, Abdul, Sir, Sir Mam Ma Ma Dexi answered A, okay, Sir Eric answered, answered a number which is not in the choices, he answered 24, so Sir Joe Marie answered A, 
Sir Bry A, Patricia also answered A, Sir Martin 27, that's A, Aphrodite A, Sir um, Mam Pearl answered A, Sir Datu, Sir Paul, also Sir Eric 26. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Sir A, A answered 72. Okay, let's reveal the answer. 26 ba dapat? Mm -hmm. Sige. So, the correct answer is, or, sige, 26 din ata. Okay, sige. Yung pattern po natin dito is, ano po yung pattern natin for number 14? The correct answer po is, letter A, 27. 26, you're answering 26, or 24 dapat, diba? 26, diba? Okay, ganito po yung pattern natin. Okay, yung pattern po natin is times 3 divide 2. Times 3 divide 2. So, 8 times 3, 24 divide 2, that's 12. Times 3, that's 36 divide 2, that's 18. Times 3, that's 54. So, divide 2. That is 27. Yes po, Sir Sunny. That's times 3 and divide 2. So the correct answer po is letter A and that is 27. So yung pattern po natin is times 3 divide 2. Okay, sige po. Okay. So, so there are individuals who who have already their answer tapos binabago. Um, or din ipinapalitan nila. They are not sure of their, ano, they are not sure of their answers. On your exam, or your, or or on the ex, uh, on, during the exam, on the time of the exam, you should always be firm about your answer you should also always be fixed or decisive about your answer it should be your answer should be yung on the on all the exams that i took i took the let i took the civil service exam both proof and sub proof i also took uh napolcom entrance exam Okay, ang ginagawa ko lang is no room for erasures. If I have shaded that letter, that is uh, fixed. Hindi, wala akong karapatan for myself. Hindi ko na dapat yun i-erase or hindi ko na po dapat yun papalitan. So my first answer is the best answer. Yun, ganun lang po. Kasi baka pag nag-erase, especially sa Napolcom exam, kasi lapis, lapis yung ginagamit. So baka erase tayo ng erase. At saka yung ating ano, ang, ang, ang yung, yung, ano, yung isang item kaka-erase lang, kaka-erase. So, baka, kasi the, I thought during the during my exams na baka pag ganun, baka hindi mabasa ng, ano, hindi mabasa ng, or i-disregard ng machine na nag-check. Okay, sige. Let's proceed na po for our last, I know, next pattern po natin before we involve, ano na, uh, numbers and then letters. Okay, so that's a problem number 15.
Okay, for number 15. Okay, you answered B, which is 57. So the pattern for this is, you got the correct answer letter B. The, the pattern for this is plus 7 and then minus 4. So plus 7 minus 4 plus 7 minus 4 plus 7 minus 4. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B. Okay, let's have number 16. Number 16 onwards up to number 20. We involved letters in the pattern. Okay, let's have number 16. So U32, V29, blank, X23, Y, 20. Lumalabas po talaga ito sa Napolcom exam. So, aside from familiar, uh, you're familiar with the numbers, you should also be familiar with the position of the alphabet, kung pang ilan siya. Sir, magtinilihok na dyan gamay akong utok. Okay. Okay, so Sir Alan answered A. Mom Pearl answered also A. Mom Aira. Matic A, okay. A po, okay. So W26. A. Sir Bry. Sir North Shift also answered letter A. So Mix answered letter A. A with confidence. That's right, Sir Bry. Okay. Shaira also answered A. Mom Debbie also answered letter A. So the correct answer is letter A. So U, V, pwede natin awitin yung alphabet. So U, V, W, X, Y. So our pattern would be W. Then our number is decreasing. So 32, 29, 26, 23, 20. That's minus Three. So the correct answer is letter A, that is W26. So congratulations for those who got the correct answer. Okay, next, number 17. F2 blank, B8, C16, then B32. Okay, so let's have number 17. Comment down 17 and then your answer. Okay, ma'am. Lani answered letter C. Ma'am Pearl, same, answered letter C. Sir Philip also answered letter C. Matic C, Sir Andrew. Okay, Jun Jun, Sir Jack, Mix. Sir Martin also, uh, oh no, uh, Sir Mix answered letter C. Sir Martin, Martin answered letter E. Sir Nelson C. Okay, so most of your answers is letter C. Okay, so the correct answer for this is letter C. So for our as. <coughs> For our alphabet, so it is in reverse. So we have B, C, D, E, F. So this is E. And then for our numbers, we have uh, multiply this by 2. So 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32. So this is E, 4. Okay, Mom Daisy, C, confident. Confident sa sagot. Okay, so let's have number 18. So number 18, we have Z, A, 3, Y, 4, B, X, C, 5, W, 6, D.
Okay, so comment down, 18, and then your answer. Okay, okay, sige. Ma'am Pearl, answer D. Sir Bry, answer B. Okay, Sir Philip, Sir Philip, Kisai, also D, Kevin D, Ma'am Lani D, Chris, oh, oh, I don't know what's your answer. Um, ah, it's B, Sir Chris B. Andrew D. Okay, so your answers are between B and D. Okay, D for dinner. I guess, Sir Chris, you will have a great dinner later. Okay, the correct answer for this is D. So you, you confused your answer with the answer in letter B for they have the same letters and same number. Okay, so we have W, X, Y, Z. So we have V. V, W, X, Y, and Z. And then for A, you have A, B, C, D, and then E. For numbers, you have 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. So your letters are E, V, and then 7. And then, yung, pag, yung titingnan na lang natin is yung placement nila kung saan. Tingnan natin yung placement ng numbers. Ma numbers sa pattern is nasa hulihan, sa gitna, hulihan, gitna. So the next pattern would be hulihan. Oh, Okay. Okay, so yung number naman, naman dito is nasa pulihan. So that, that's why the answer is VE7 and that is letter D. Okay, bakit nahuli yung number mga boss? Okay, tingnan po natin yung pattern sa number. Try to see po na the, the, uh, sa pattern, pinagitna din po yung number. Opo, na-alternate natin. So pulihan, gitna, pulihan, nasa pulihan gitna. So, ibig sabihin, yung number naman dito is dapat nasa huli. So, that is V E 7. The correct answer is letter D. Opo, medyo nakakalito. Okay, let's have number 19. So, PQR, PQS, PQT, then PQV. Okay, so you answered C. Okay, Ma'am Patricia, Sir Lester, Sir Arvin, Sir Jason, Ma'am Pearl, Sir Charles. Okay, you answered letter C. C agad, okay. Letter C, Sir Nico, Sir Ricky, Adrian, Sir Emilio, letter C. Okay, very good po kayong lahat. Okay, the correct answer po is letter C. So, let's take note na yung nagbabago lang po is yung number at saka yung last letter. Pag tingnan mo parang complicated, but if you try to see yung sequence, and yung nagbabago lang po is yung number at saka yung last letter. So, P, 5, Q, naging P, 4. So, this becomes P, 2, Q, so, R, ang um, pattern is R-S-T-U-V. So, the correct answer is P, 2, Q, and U. So, the correct answer is letter C. C para hindi mag -CC. Okay, let's have the last pattern, number 20. J14, L16, blank, P20, R22. Okay, number 20. 
Okay, number 20. Sir, just answered B. Ma'am Pearl, C. Ma'am Susan, B. Okay, Ma'am Ruby also answered B, Sir Arvin, Ma'am Jessica, Ma'am Mary Grace B, Ma'am Jenny B, Sir Nelson B. Okay. Sir Ricky, Ma'am Yang, Sir Mike, Sir Eric also answered C, Sir Nelson Sir M, Sir Bry, answered B. Sir R, okay. The correct answer for this is okay. For for the numbers, it's a multiple of two or pwede ring skipping pattern katulad ng sa letter. Okay. The correct answer for this number number twenty is letter B. That is N eighteen. Okay. Yung letter C po dito ay parang isang napakalaking distractor sa inyo kasi pwede siyang maging sagot. But let us try to see the letters. We skip, nag-skip po tayo ng letters. So J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. So yung letter po natin sa ating blank, sa ating hinahanap is N, then 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So the correct answer is letter B, that is Okay, sige. We're done with patterns. We're going to proceed with word problems. Okay. Meron na tayong problema. Dadagdagan lang natin. Dinagdag pa natin ito. Okay, sige. We're going to explain each. Okay. So, in a... In an English class, test the 25 students under Miss Racho and the 50 students under Miss Crosado garnered an average grade of 85 and 87, respectively. What is the average grade of all the students under Miss Racho and Miss Crosado? Okay, you could, you could easily answer this one without solving, actually. Ma'am, what time po mag and um, I don't know kung anong oras tayo matatapos kasi po I have 51 items. We are approaching halfway. Tapos prob word problems na po ito sunod -sunod. Okay, pwede ma'am. Yes po, ano pong tanong Sir Jabnel, Jabnil Solis? Okay, sige. Um... You're thinking na mahirap yung math kasi meron ka na sa loob mo. May schema ka na mahirap yung math. Pero pag itry mo po, magiging madali po. Uh, alisin mo po yung sa isip mo na mahirap yung math. Kasi based on this problem, mahaba lang po yung sentence. Mahaba lang po yung, yung, ano, yung problem. Pero madali lang po yung sagot nito. Yan na naman. Okay. Um, okay. Ano po? Um, tawag nito. Try nyo po. Try nyo po. Sub, uh, subukin po muna ninyo. Para mas, uh, mas, ano, mas, mas maintindihan po ninyo yung problem. Do not give up easily. Huwag pong ano, surrender agad. Napagbasa pa lang ng mahabang problem. Um, ano na agad? Surrender na. Suko na agad. Give it a try. Tapos, okay, malalaman natin yung sagot. Okay, for Sir Joston, hindi po ba 86 ang sagot, ma'am? So, sige po, hindi po, sir. Kasi hindi naman po equal yung number of students nila sa class. Kung equal po, 86 po yung sagot. Pero number of students nila 25 and 15. Kasama po ba inter-problem na yun, ma'am? Wala, um, wala po akong interval problem na ano na binigay ngayon. Um, we have word problems on, ano lang ito, distance, rate. We have, 
um, age problem, yun lang halos. And number problems. Okay, sige. Ma'am, face reveal kaya. Sa susunod po nating pagkikita. <laughs> Answered letter C, answered letter E, okay, answered letter D, Sir Torrejano. Ilonggo si ma'am, yes po. <laughs> Ilonggo si ma'am, ilongga si ma'am. Opo, Sir Junjun recorded po ito. Pwede i-upload ko din po yung aking slides sa inyong respective GCs para po ma-download po ninyo at saka mapag-aralan po. And then recorded din po ito, uh, pinopost lang po ni Sir Jerome sa ating ano, group chat. Aside from group chat sa ating page. Ma'am, pwede recess. Opo, sige, pagtapos po nito, mag-water break tayo. Or uh, mag-ano tayo, ano, mag-break tayo sa bit. Okay, so i-reveal ko na po yung sagot. So, I'm going to read the problem again. In an English class test, the 25 students under Ms. Racho and the 15 students under Ms. Crosado garnered an average grade of 85 and 87 respectively. What is the average grade of all the students under Ms. Racho and Ms. Crosado? Okay, for this problem, sinabi ko po kanina na madali because you could already eliminate answers. Pwede na po natin tanggalin yung iba na hindi po, na imposible pong maging sagot. Okay. So someone asked kanina kung bakit hindi 86 yung sagot. So hindi po 86 yung sagot kasi magkaiba po yung number of students ng kanilang class. Kung parehas pong 25, tapos yung average po is 85 and 87, then the average is 86. O 15 students. So, so it will vary. Magkaiba po yung ating uh, Ito, average. Okay. First, kung yung average na po nila is 85 at 87, so imposible na pong bababa sa 85 yung kanilang average. If the average is already 85 tapos 87, so bakit pa magiging 64 yung average nila? So, X na po si A, X na po si letter E. X na din po si letter B, mas mababa siya sa 85. So pag, ang pagbabasihan na lang natin, o ang titignan na lang natin, pagpipilian na lang natin, is yung letter C at saka si letter D. Pero tingnan po natin, dito sa problem, okay, there are, 80, um, 87, uh, there are 15 students who garnered an average of 87. So more or less po, tataas pa sa 85 yung magiging average ng whole class kasi magiging weighted, weighted mean ito. So more or less, yung sagot natin is, yung choice na lang talaga natin is letter D. So cancel out na si A, B, E. Makancel out na din si letter C kasi mas mataas yung average ng isang section. So yung sobra nila pwede pang ibigay dito sa 85. So Pag weighted mean, we could do this solution nito. The correct answer is letter D. For those who answered letter D, that is correct. Okay, yes. So yun po yung isipin natin. Kung hindi natin kayang isolve, pwede tayo sa elimination. Tanggalin natin yung palagay natin na hindi na talaga pwede. So let's have this weighted mean. So you, you have... 25 students got the score of 85. So multiply natin. And then 15 students got 87. Ang total niyan, add it up, 2,125 and 1,305. And then you're going to divide that to 40 students na meron sila para makuha yung average. So that is 15 and 25, so that is 40. So 3,430 divide 40 is equal to 85.75. Opo, 75 okay na daw. Okay, so the correct answer po is letter D. That is 
Sardine, andyan pa ba si Sardine sa sa loop? 